This is David Rodecker. I'm going to be talking about the phone system, which is VichyDial, and it uses asterisks under the covers, and how when using it and our system with uh, bandwidth carrier, we're getting reports of bad caller IDs or spam likely uh, from some of our clients. This is happening because in the when we call someone, we pass a caller ID that uh, if we don't own it or if we don't pass it in at all, it's going to be displaying that uh, warning for a lot of people, their carriers do that sort of look up to see that <clears throat> we own that phone number. So to diagnose this, I'm going to be, uh, I was given a phone number by our uh, team. I'm going to go ahead and look up that phone number here and uh, in VichyDial. So on uh, Vici dial here. Uh, you go into our lists and look up, uh, search for a lead. I went ahead and copied the phone number, and you can see it's got some history, <clears throat> but it just happened on the 20th here. So I click on this. I can see the history of calls. There's uh, seven calls and two on a prior day. Uh, unfortunately, on these calls, it doesn't show the uh, the actual the caller ID that's passed in. I'm not quite sure why that is with Vici. Well, maybe we, we can find that out. So uh, I decided to go about looking at this within bandwidth, and within bandwidth, you can come in here and see all the caller ID, all the calls placed. That's in their dashboard under Insights. Under Insights, you can go into it's actually under Billing under BDR. I found you pass in the date you're looking for. In this case, just the 21st. Submit that, and when it finishes, it downloads a report. And just opening up that report, it's a big CSV file. So I was able to, oh, how many records are in this one? So uh, <clears throat> I was not able to, why not? Let me go ahead and wrap around. Yes, so I was able to find and uh, get a record here, and it shows, I was kind of looking at this file, you can see that it's got a number here and then a number here. That first number is the number that's the from, and the second number is um, the to, so who this is the person we're calling, and uh, so it's calling a phone number uh, from the a number ending in 6210, and as I paste through this, um, sorry, that's six, a 620 is the number that um, of the client calling to us. Actually, the uh, going to the top of the file, you can see the header shows that the caller ID is first shown, then the BDR ID. I'm going to guess that's who we're calling. But uh, so <clears throat> in this case, the uh, the 6130 is who we're calling, and we called it from a number ending in 6210. So that's um, showing there. But look at this record. We're calling it from a different caller ID. So I guess I should have checked this before, but look at this. We're calling that phone number from a different caller ID. And in fact, if you go, and actually if I simmered down the log to just finding the records where we're calling that prospect, these eight, uh, records here that uh, some of the, the caller ID here is the 0852, one, two, three of those times. It's randomly going between these two numbers because we had them both assigned. So now that explains why the experience is that sometimes he's seen us pop up as spam likely. Back into Vici dial, this is identified in the CD, CID groups, caller ID groups. We pretty much have them all in this second group here. And if I search that phone number, or actually the area code, that's how it's identified. So in the first call, there's an area code. And for, area, uh, for that area code, we're using different caller IDs. And it is area code 313. Sure enough, we've got two different numbers here. This one ending in 210 and another one ending in 0852. This pretty clearly says it's bandwidth. This one just says 313. 
to my recollection, this was a legacy from Twilio or maybe someone else. Uh, and it's likely that we don't actually own that phone number. I'm going to go ahead and check that out. Um, I'm going to, uh, to do that, I open up, um, there's a few different places to look up caller ID. The one I particularly trust is Twilio. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a link. Um, go ahead and open up a uh, page to Twilio here and log in. And then when in uh, Twilio, it's very confusing to find anything. Usually this works to just search, look up a phone number. So passing in that caller ID, I'm going to go ahead and pay the penny. So that's worth my time. And it says local splash. So that's great. Now let's go ahead and look it up for that second phone number. Uh, so just to be clear, that was for what number? The one ending in 210. And then this second number, 0852. And null, undetermined. Ooh, not good. It's actually owned by MCI as well. That shouldn't be a number we're using. So I'm going to go ahead and just kill that one. That is a bad caller ID. So uh, now hopefully our 313 just has it. So by that same token, I'm pretty confident I'm going to find all of these that just have a number are probably a bad caller ID. Get those cleaned up and... Uh, Hopefully, we're going to eliminate our caller ID uh, spam uh, likely phone calls.